Apple is taking user tracking to a whole new level. Earlier, I was joined by RT's Lindsay France in LA who walked us through this terrain of tracking and what it means for privacy. Take a look. Yeah, that's what a lot of people think when they read the headlines about this new patent that's just been granted to Apple. The Find My Friends feature uh, is it enables a user uh, through permission from a friend, uh, it's assumed anyway, uh, to pinpoint their location. What this new patent outlines is a way for a person uh, through the agreement of a friend also, to actually track their movements using mapping, using GPS, that actually uh, allows the person to see, sort of for lack of a better term, a trail along which that person has traveled. So let's say uh, you're at a house party and you're trying to get your friends there, but they don't know their way. You then connect your phones, they can follow the uh, route you took, and you can even uh, use a certain mapping application to send them directions. You can also use a mirroring feature where uh, your friend can tap into your phone and see what you're looking at. So it can make it easier for people to find one another that way, but also if you're trying to track your child or even your dog, uh, there are you know devices that would make it capable for your child to carry around with you or your pet. So it's just something that's much more sort of focused and uh, works harder at helping people find one another. So it's a really exciting development and what it really brings up is talk of devices. Now it doesn't, patents don't always lead to production, but if it does, that means Apple may be selling new devices for it, which means you know more money and more new devices to talk about. But it's definitely much more detailed, and uh, it's it's something that has a lot of people very excited. Definitely provides a, a, a different convenience for people, and they're definitely going to get excited about this. But there are some concerns over privacy, right? Yes, absolutely. There's actually a recent study out of Carnegie Mellon uh, University which pointed out uh, that. You know, it's it's a field study on mobile privacy, app privacy, nudging, and the title of it is Your Location Has Been Shared 5,398 Times. Now, what they did is they took test subjects on their phone using applications for 14 days, and what they found is that different apps, uh, when you sign up, you know, they, they ask for Facebook profiles, various social media profiles, access to photos sometimes, and the ability to track your location under the, the assumption that this helps the app to work better for you. Well, what uh, the the scientists in this study did was they measured how many times apps were accessing people's information, whether it was to give them targeted advertising, et cetera, and then uh, pinged the user's phone with sort of pop-ups to let them know how, how and when this was happening. And what a lot, a lot of you, what they essentially found was that a lot of users didn't care. They got rid of the annoying nudges, but some of them did care. And the scientists are trying to find out what sort of nudging will help consumers be more aware of how they're being tracked, but also not be so annoyed that they just shove it to the side. Of course, this is done by academics, not by business people. And obviously, as you might guess, business people would not want uh, you know, people pushing these nudges aside and blocking out the amount of information that corporations can use to measure users. So it'll be interesting to see if people are given the chance to, to acknowledge when their information is being used and to refuse access to it, if they would actually do that or not. And how exactly does this compare to other apps out there like Strava or Map My Run, which, uh, as I understand it, also offer detailed GPS of, of a person's movements? That's right. Uh, a lot of people, I myself use Map My Run. The, uh, this is just one example of the type of app that works best when it's using uh, GPS locators. So you, you sign up, it then maps your run, offers alternate routes. It, it shows you different runners in the area, people you can run with, even locations where uh, you know you can find water if you need it. So uh, it's very user oriented and users can add to the information within that app. Now, what, uh, what Map My Run has said when in its privacy policy is that we will not be tracking your location despite the always setting until you hit record workout. We will then stop tracking your location once you swipe to finish recording your workout. That always setting means that you can track sometimes or it, you want it to track always when you're working out. So that says it's not going to be tracking your GPS all the time, only when you want it to. Uh, Strava essentially says the same thing. The one thing with these, they've got desktop applications. So if the wrong person knows your password, they can track your movements when you enable the GPS. Something to think about. 
but many companies say, unless you want us to track it, we won't track it. So as users get more informed about this and possibly policies emerge about what they're allowed to know uh, about, about tracking when it's going on, you may see more people uh, choosing not to be tracked. And that seems to be the key. I mean, we can have all of this wonderful technology. We just need to know how to sort of limit it so that we can still maintain our privacy. All right, RT correspondent Lindsay 